Hey guys, Mickey GS here. Documenting the 60 to 99 route or trick or tip or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a route. So what I'm going to do right now is make sure that I fueled my characters I have. So what do you need to do? First off, you need to be on chapter 5. There's no way around this. Be on chapter 5. So you need to be Isakel. That means you can send your XP bonus up to 200 at the cheat shop. But first off, before you do any of that, make sure you've upgraded your store at the uh, student um, the student uh, assembly so that you can buy the latest gear. Now you want to go to the store, and at this point, if you've done what I've said, you'll have items which cost 26,240 or again. But you know, uh, and you'll continue on, and you'll have better gear like forty-nine thousand here, nineteen thousand there. You know, um, if you need money, if you're short on funds, you can use the previous video, and instead of doing, um, instead of doing it for XP, you change the XP to uh, the XP in the cheat store to money, and that will allow you to gain some easy cash. So here we go. Let's have a look at the cheat store. I've got it set to 200. As I just said, you can do that now. And enemy strength needs to be 16 stars, guys. No more, no less. 16 is the perfect number. So let's have a look at this map. Okay, so here we go. You need to go to 4. So that's Dem Munchroom. 2. Rustling Bacteria. So 4, 2, guys. And now this map, when you first come on, is a nightmare. Uh, level 60 to 70 is pretty much a beating. You need to be prepared for it. But everything here is level 99. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stack them high. Obviously, I don't have characters at level 60 to show you how to do... Try and pretend I do. So what you're going to do here is you're just going to stack them up, guys. Stack them up good. Just like I'm doing right now. And this will take a few seconds, but once you've done it, it's all good. I've got two more to do. One. And two. There we go. Right, so now what you're going to do is, if you've got the tower laser skill from doing the grinding before, you can literally just go at it. So you're just gonna do what you can to stay alive at level 60. So at level 60 the idea is to do the following. Um, obviously this guy's gonna be taking a beating so what you do is you throw and then instantly move him to the top. So what you're doing is gonna rotate your characters to a degree where they're not gonna die. Some might not take as much damage as others so you can choose based on that when you need to throw a character and when you don't. That'll be purely based on your team makeup, uh, what you've got going on, but you can indeed do it. So all you're going to do is you're going to go around this stage. The easiest way to travel, in fact, is to of course throw as well, so you're just going to do this forever. And you're going to do that. Oops. Okay, I, bu I buggered up. But I'm pretty sure you get the idea. You want to keep the spacing to the best of ability so that you can stack each character each time. In fact, it's kind of fine because my characters don't take too much damage, but if you make a mistake like that, it might, it might get somebody killed. Which is not a good thing, but as you can see, I'm just going to roll on through here. So there we go. And I'm just gonna whoops, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing. This is the most powerful skill that you will have in your tower block. This is the skill you need if you're rolling a tower setup. So make sure to try and level up on each character too, because that will be useful. So as you can see, um, this guy's starting to take some damage, even at the level he's at. 
So it's not uh, it's not the most foolproof plan on the planet. You just need to make sure you save it a lot when doing this one. Like save before you go in, see if you can do it. Save again when you come out, and then do it all over. This will take about if you do it well enough. It'll take you about half an hour to get from 60 to 99. Give or take. Give or take a wee bit of time. So as you can see, I'm just using the same strategy I've been using all along. I'm just paneling them as I go. Oh, the one thing to mention about this stage and it's not happening to me now is you can get stunned a lot. Stun will stop you from being able to move your character. Um, obviously when you throw, so that could get them into trouble too, so be, be aware of uh, that particular status element when it pops up. They don't do it to me anymore because it doesn't affect my characters, they've leveled past it. I've got past that point. So all you're gonna do is just keep going. This is the uh... This is the best method I've found so far of grinding a rather simple way of getting higher levels. And I've been at it all day, uh, looking for various holes in the game and... Um, the last one I found um, was kind of just lucky. This one I found because I know the math behind uh, the Disgaea 99 uh, particulars. If you ever played the Disgaea game and the level of the enemies is 16, at the start, there is a point in the star list where they will become level 99. And that's how you do it, guys. And I get 463,000 for doing that. Every single time you go through there. And that is it. That's all you need to know. That is how you get from 60 to 99 in about half an hour if you've got a good enough setup. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, whatever. And I hope you enjoy playing this guy. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.